Reaper. We do it rough, we do it raw, we do it real. I just want to talk a little bit about this Adrian Broner situation, you know. You know, about four or five hours ago, you know, it came across, you know, my live wire that Adrian Broner, you know, was calling out this gay man named Andrew Cardwell, who slid up into his DMs and was claiming Adrian Broner was gay and he could see Adrian Broner was gay. And Adrian got mad and called out this dude and was asking his buddies, do he look gay or whatever? You know, and then the other guy, Andrew Codwell, the, um, you know, accused Adrian Broner of being gay and say he got receipts and uh, his boys is gay around him. And, uh, you know, he needs to come on out the closet and basically be who he want to be. Now, years ago, shout out to 78 Sports TV. He called this long time ago because the brother at 78 Sports TV, you know, he done been to jail and everything. And he said, just with the characteristics of what Adrian Broner and how he act and his characteristics, he said he's probably been molested as a, as a child and he's probably a gay man. And that's what he's fighting up against because you know, he's always getting into trouble and being a loud mouth. And he said he's seen this kind of stuff before. This brother said this years ago. Now Adrian Brona has got, you know, uh, this gay man calling him out, claiming he got receipts, saying that Adrian Brona is gay. And Adrian Brona went on a rant calling him a faggot and everything else. And they saying that this is going to affect Adrian's career you know, because, you know, he went on a tangent, you know, about calling this dude uh, gay, gay slurs or whatever. But, you know, I'm just saying that, you know, from my perspective or whatever is Adrian Brona has got some, you know, some deep rooted problems. And uh, we all can see that and they play out in the public all the time. And it ain't just to sell fights. I mean, this man was saying he was going to commit suicide and, you know, and uh, Floyd Mayweather had had to stop him. And, you know, some even suspected in the news him and Floyd's relationship was strange, just like they did with Floyd and 50 Cent. I'm just reporting was the allegations, allegedly the allegations that was out there. So, you know, um, I don't know what's going on with Adrian Brona, but I know it's something going on with Adrian Brona. And, you know, I think he needs, you know, some mental help. And I don't think gay people, because gay, some gay people is aggressive. And if they see that kind of spirit on you, because this dude said he see that kind of spirit on him in his antenna, because the dude say he done been delivered, but he's still sliding up in Adrian Broner's DMs, you know? <laughs> the Reaper Keep It 1000 show you about deliverance in the Christian church. <laughs> but anyway, you know, um, this dude is claiming that he delivered, but he's still sliding up into Adrian Broner's DM and criticizing him and saying that Adrian possibly could be a gay man, you know, and Adrian Broner got, got offended and said if any faggot approach him or yes, it's the terminology he used and anybody approach him and you know, he's gonna shoot them in the face or he's going to knock them out, you know. But my thing of it is, is Adrian, if you're not that way, all you did is have to respond and say, everybody that know me know that I'm not gay. You didn't have to throw up all the gay, gay slurs or whatever and threaten to shoot people in their face. You should have said that everybody that know me know that I'm not like that and I'm not cut that way, but you didn't say that. You said that if anybody approached you like that, basically that you didn't want to approach you, you was gonna shoot them in the face or you was gonna knock them out, you know? So, I mean, this guy is claiming to have receipts on you. So, stay tuned, we'll see. Reaper, we keep it rough, we keep it raw, we keep it real. And like I always say, we don't give a fuck, less than a fuck about you haters. Reap out. Peace.